You've probably heard about sore arms after getting the COVID shot or maybe even felt it yourself, but some people who are getting the Moderna vaccine are reporting rashes. Doctors are calling it COVID arm. Our Jamie Perez shares more about what it is and what you can do if you get it. A new reaction from the Moderna vaccine is something doctors are hearing more and more about. Raised, sometimes hard, sometimes hot, uh, redness. Uh, around the, the site that, that got injected. UW Health's Dr. Bill Hartman said it's not something to be concerned about. It's more of a nuisance for those who get it. Really more of like a, a sensitivity reaction. Um, it's not something that uh, we're concerned about in terms of uh, persons having like an anaphylactic reaction or uh, even um, you know, a hyper acute sensitivity reaction. The New England Journal of Medicine posted numerous photos of what some of the rashes look like. Doctors say that it should go away on its own after about a week, but if you want some relief now, you can apply a hot or cold compress to the affected area. You hear one or, or two a day, but uh, out of the number of reactions, or excuse me, the number of injections that are being done, it's still a, a very low percentage. Hartman said the reaction can sometimes migrate to the other arm, but it typically only shows up at the site of injection. Do you know why this is only happening with the Moderna vaccine and not the others? I don't think we have a good explanation as to why it's only happening with the Moderna vaccine. And even in the people that are getting the Moderna vaccine, it's typically only being seen in people under 60 years old. The rash usually only appears after the first dose of the Moderna vaccine. Vaccine. Hartman said this should not stop people from getting the vaccine or their second dose of Moderna. For News 3 Now, I'm Jamie Perez. Other symptoms like fever, chills, muscle aches, and pain at the site of injection are also common symptoms that are experienced by all three of the COVID vaccines.